I've actually been wanting to come to do these five caches for quite a while. All right guys, so we're doing pretty good on the channel. At the time of recording of this video, we have 125 subs. We only need five more to make it to our 130 goal. Are you ready? Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Triple P, how you guys doing? I'm out in Ross County at the Parks District at the Defend Nature Preserve, looking for about five caches that involve hiking for this weekend adventure. Let's go see how many of these we can track down. Here we go. Okay, we are off and running. I'm super excited. I have never been here before. It's about an hour and a half drive and we're hiking on mulch trails at this nature preserve. I wonder what kind of um, wonder what kind of animals we'll see today, if any at all, besides like the typical uh, birds and squirrels and stuff. Here's the scoop on the weather. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice out today, but there is rain scheduled to come in around 1 p.m. So I'm hoping to get these five caches and get out of here without getting wet. There's another boardwalk. Most of these caches have been found um, recently, so I'm expecting to find all these. Hey, you guys see these? Look at this stuff here. See this green stuff? This is called Lego weed, and that's because if you pull it apart, you should be able to connect it back together. A little educational tidbit. All right, we're at the overlook. Let's see what we're overlooking. Hey, right, look at that. Woohoo! Mmm. Smells funky back here for like 20 feet. Let's see if we can find this cache. I'm wondering if it's underneath the bridge. We shall find out in just a second, I guess. <laughs> here it is right here. Altoids tin underneath the bridge. Bingo. Second cache. And there's a little spur overlook over here. Let's go check out this overlook. See what it see where it leads us. See what we're overlooking. Never pass up an opportunity at a great view. Gotta live by that rule. Up we go. Ain't nobody up here. Hey yo. Love it. I've actually been wanting to come to do these five caches for quite a while. Just because they involve hiking and I think the more time I spend in nature, the more I fall in love with it. Hopefully you guys are nature lovers also. Also, this is a loop, loop trail. So if you just keep following it, you'll eventually loop back to where you started. And I think the cache that's the furthest out from the parking coordinates is only about a half a mile. So it's really, it's really not that bad. More Lego weed on the right over here. Look how tall this Lego weed is, it's crazy. There's the river there. There's my cache, yes, got it. Woohoo, little man in the woods. How you doing there, buddy? What are you holding for me today? Anything good? And we have Columbus Blue Jackets playing card. Some Dalla Dalla bills. Actually, those are coins. A SpongeBob item. All right, guys, so we're doing pretty good on the channel. At the time of recording of this video, we have 125 subs. We only need five more to make it to our 130 goal. Let's keep it up. Let's stay strong and let's climb together so we can just get the best geocaching videos out there that we got. Appreciate all the love and support people send me. We're about 500 feet to the next cache. What a great spot. I mean, this is easy hiking. It's flat. Anybody can do it. This would be one of those places where if you come in the summer, you'll be glad you did. But I'm glad I'm here in the spring because of the mosquitoes. We're getting close. I want to check out the water. That's over here. Yes. There's a nice sandbar in the middle. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Anything under there? Not the other side. I don't see anything. 
So I used the hint, and the hint says, beware of trolls, find the geopile, then go deeper. Ironically, it was found in the same day as it was DNF by two different people. That one stings a little bit because I was expecting to find all of these. And I just did not find that one. Okay, let's go for four out of five. Let's try 80%. 80% is still pretty good. I guess that one has a history of going missing as well. People have not also not found it. I'm not the first person to, to leave a DNF on that one. Hey, this is pretty cool. There's a little stream right there running water underneath the bridge that I'm standing on. Goes around the curb, down the bend that way. Excellent. That giant tree you see right there, that is a, uh, a sycamore tree. It's pretty good pretty big tree okay off to my left is ground zero there's a little trail here let's go check it out and this tree here pretty suspicious boy that's a great spot for a cache I wonder if it's over there let's around and see if we can find it. Uh, there's a couple sticks on the ground is there underneath these sticks nope Tucked in here somewhere. That stinks. Nobody likes that. Nobody. Nobody wants DNFs in their life. Nobody. Let's hope we end on a find. Let's try and find the next one. Three out of five. Here we go. This one was also found on 13021. Yes! Another beautiful view of the creek. That makes me feel better. We got one, guys. We got the last one. Yes. I see it. Let's go up there and grab it. Coordinates are off quite a ways, actually. But this guy is... I'm on the wrong side of the fence. But this guy right here, it's right in here. Nailed it. And he's on some sort of fishing wire. Whoop. All right, guys, we decided to do one last cache as part of the adventure video, the weekend adventure video. I've moved locations. I'm at the uh, Hopewell Adena Mound in Chillicothe, Ohio. And I'm actually going after a cache that I tried to find once before last year and DNF'd it, but I'm in the area, so I thought I'd try again. This is a pretty cool area. They've got, like, uh, history, um, about the area, there's some open fields, there's an interpretive trail, and I think there's three caches here. I have all of them but the one I missed, so that's what we're after. The cache page says that it is a regular size container. It was replaced after I came back here, or after I was here on my first visit. Somebody replaced it, so I'm hoping to find it. There's not a lot of people here right now, which is great. I don't know the difficulty rating on it. Or the terrain rating. All right, so I totally got the size of the container wrong. It's a one and a half, one and a half DT, and it's a small size container. I'm wondering if it was replaced as a regular size container. Here's to finding it and getting this dreaded blue dot off my map. All right, this is the little batch of woods that I need to be in. Let's go in there, beep. And this is where I thought it might be. I see something yellow. I see something yellow on the ground. Let's go see if that's the container. That's not it. <laughs> that's not the cache. I don't know what that was, but that's not it. This is where I thought it would be last time I was here. It was right in this area, but it's not there yet. It's still not there. Let's keep looking. Okay, guys, if you ever go up and see these spiky trees here, this is a locust tree, all right? Stay away from those. The hint says it's at the base of a locust tree. Bingo. Yes, revenge is a dish best served. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Totally excited. I know this is the replacement, but I don't care. Oh, we did it. 
We fixed our DNF. Hooray! All right, guys, this beautiful sandbar with the creek in the background is right where I'm going to wrap up this adventure video. If you're not a geocaching with Triple P subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can help me reach my sub goal of 130 subs. Let's climb together. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.